Hi, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. And I've had quite a few questions lately on my uh, self-watering rain gutter grow system. Some people wanted to know some questions about it, how I came about uh, inventing it. Well, what's the old saying go? Uh, the uh, necessity is the mother of invention. Well, that's about exactly what happened. I'll tell you how it all came about. Uh, a couple of years ago, about three years ago, I, uh, I'm a smoker, so I would buy my bag. I got sick of time paying the high prices for tobacco, so I would buy bag tobacco. At that time, it was like $14 for a pound. I would buy the tubes and a little cigarette maker, and I'd make my cigarettes, and I was happy with that. I saved quite a bit of money. I could make a carton of cigarettes for about 8 bucks, 9 bucks, And then along came Obama and taxed the heck out of tobacco and it went from fourteen dollars to sixty seven dollars a pound well eventually the some of the tobacco companies got wise and they found out that pipe tobacco was taxed at a different rate so they just put pipe tobacco on it dropped back still at twenty four ninety five but still a bunch so i was pretty mad so i thought I wonder if I can raise tobacco. Can I? Is it legal? Can you raise it? And I started doing some research. Absolutely, it's legal in all 50 states. You can raise tobacco for your own use. So I got some seeds, talked to some guys on forums and said, can I raise tobacco in Minnesota? They said, heck, we raise tobacco in Canada and Alaska. So I uh, planted the... They said, you, what do you do when you plant tomatoes in uh, in the end of May or first of June, Minnesota, I said, well, we buy transplants. They said, well, duh, get your tobacco seeds and start them indoors, and when they're nice plants, move them outside. Well, I did that. I raised 265 plants, Virginia Gold, the first year, and they come out fantastic. If you look at my videos, scroll through there, type in tobacco in the search on my, on my page, you'll see the results I had. They were awesome. Well, at this time, I'm going to use my two garden plots to raise tobacco. I'm thinking, well, what am I going to raise tomatoes and cucumbers and stuff in? What am I going to have, uh, 40 topsy turvies or, or what? Well, that's when I started looking into container gardening. Well, one thing led to another. I wasn't going to go out and buy 20 earth boxes because they would have cost me a fortune. So I seen a lot of guys that were taking the two bucket system, two five gallon buckets, and making it into basically a mock earth box. So I did that, and they were great. Only problem is, I, well, hot days, I would fill them up in the morning, come home in the afternoon, they were empty, fill them up again, come home, check in the morning, they'd be empty, and it just got to be, my gosh, you know, this works great, but man, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time watering these. So that is where the idea came. I thought, well, listen, the bottom bucket is no more than a water reservoir. So what if I just make one continual water reservoir? That's when the idea, of, I thought, well, let's see, rain gutter or something along would hold water. That is when the idea came, make a rain gutter, take a rain gutter, put two by fours on each side to support it. And then at the same time, I'm very interested in different growing methods. I like, you know, experimenting with different things. That's half the fun of gardening. I noticed these net cups were used in uh, hydroponics and aquaponics to hold uh, different media in that they planted in a solution. You know, lettuce, a lot of commercial lettuce is raised that way, and they float on mats like a little baby colander. You've seen my videos, you'll see the little basket. Well, I thought this beats the heck out of cutting a bunch of PVC pipes or cups to put in the bottom of buckets. So here's something ready made, and they're cheap drop right in the bucket. Well, that's one thing led to another. I ordered some of the net cups. They fit perfectly into the rain gutter. Drilled a two and seven inch hole inch hole. Dropped in a three inch net cup. And I thought, well, you know, I've tried Miracle Grow and that worked great, but I thought, gee, you know, it's not exactly cheap. If you're gonna raise a few buckets, no big deal. But I wanted to, you know, pretty full size garden, but make it fully automatic. Well, I took an area, and I had put landscape fabric down, um, so I didn't have to deal with weeds. And my wife says, what are you messing with that stuff for? It breaks apart. 
She says, go get carpet, it's free. So I called these carpet places and said, you got to use carpet? They said, tons of it. Come and get all you want. So I fenced in an area, keep the deer out, and laid down carpet. Matter of fact, I kid my friends, take off your shoes before you come in my garden. That was kind of funny. It, uh, it worked great. I laid down the carpet, built the systems, leveled them. And uh, at first, I just put the one float on to try that. The other ones I just filled by hand. I would uh, I put all the buckets on, and, and I would fill it. However, that even got to be a little chore, and so I ordered more floats, and now I'm installing them all. But uh, that rain gutter holds five gallons of water. It will suck it dry on a hot day with all those plants twice a day. Incredible. And people ask me, well, what about the mosquito problem? What about the mosquito problem? I have, let me tell you, I got mosquitoes here. I've been living in Minnesota most of my life, and at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, we got a little campfire, and, we try, and if you get very far away from the camp, the mosquitoes eat you alive. So it isn't like I don't have mosquitoes, and I had 10 of these systems I built. Did I have any mosquitoes in the shops? And believe me, my wife was the first to going to point it out to me if there was. Not a one. I think the reason is, is the fresh water, uh, changing the water out. Mosquitoes like stagnant water. This fresh water, they ain't wild about. It. And if you are concerned about it, take some landscape fabric, stick it over top or plastic, and take a staple gun and just tack it down. It'll take you a couple minutes. It's not a big deal. Custom slits where the neck cups go through into it. But uh, anyway, that's how it came about. I don't want to spend a whole long time on this, but. I'm going to do some updates on a more frequent basis. I sure wish I lived in Texas or California where I could grow almost year-round. I've got a lot of ideas for expanding this concept. Uh, the results I had were absolutely fantastic. I couldn't be more happy. I invite you to go through and look at all the videos on the rain gutter system and stuff. And I've got everything on the site. It isn't just about that. I enjoy smoking meats, smoking turkey, smoking fish, canning things. Uh, of course, when you get into raising your own vegetables, then you want to have ways. So I'm always interested in dehydrating and canning things. So it's an ongoing uh, thing. This last year has been a huge, huge jump forward for me. Uh, some of the prepper lifestyle things, uh, growing things. And I love to share this concept with people and, and I encourage them. Just, just build one system. Just try it you will be amazed and it's inexpensive to build you only need one bucket you don't, you don't have to use five gallon buckets if you're concerned even about the mosquitoes get the totes what are they four or five bucks on sale walmart fill them just like the earth box and line them up in a row now you've covered the, the earth box or the whole rain gutter basically maybe a couple little gaps you can cover i'm going to try some of the totes this year i use everything five gallon buckets Waste paper baskets from the dollar store, 18 quart bucket, everything grew fantastic. You can use virtually anything, and you only need one bucket, drill one hole, put that in, and you're in business. It doesn't get any easier than that. Hook up the float. Uh, you can get different kinds of floats. I sent, I got the links on my videos, and uh, the, you can get one with bar pitting, so you can gang a whole bunch together and just hook up one garden hose and run them all. So... Anyway, this is Larry Umbrainer. Just want to give you a short uh, little update on what's going on, and uh, I'll keep posting. So, ciao.